hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel my name is Maggie. so lately i've been on a roll you know uploading different things about bl this should be my fourth upload about bl and people have been showing it so much love yeah! i decided to make you know one that just tells you my 10 best of all time bls this list is going to be including of both korean japanese taiwanese style you know like all the bls out there and you know for me who is not a fan of bad acting or bad production in general i decided to you know share this like this list. so if you are new to the world of bl this is a good recommendation for you this is where you get your you know legit list because i don't give any how list you know that kind of vibe and if you've been here before or if you are not new to the world of bl i also love for you to watch to the end because then i will you know tell you my number one best of all best and i'm going to rating them you know like from the 10th one down to the first one so i would love you to wait till the end because you know <laughs> for me to give that bl number one you should know that you know it offered everything it needed to offer so if you're new to the world of bl just watch you know and get the full list that i'm going to be giving you and it will help you a lot if you're interested in you know this genre of drama to be honest with you i had a hard time choosing this thing because i have so many bls that i love but if you're interested in me making like a part where i list my you know from 10 to 20 just leave it in the comment section as well because i'll be more than happy to do that but you know this video we are going to be ending the year with it and you know i'm just using this opportunity to wish you a happy new year in advance because you know when we enter the new year depending on how much love you guys show this video we, dis we determine whether i will continue making these videos because i'm so excited i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to join the family if you're new if you're not new click that like button and subscribe as well you know this family we are happy i'm happy because you know for someone who has been interested with, uh, in bl for quite some time now you know i'm so happy making these videos i just really don't know why and someone called me cute in the comments of one of the other videos <laughs> i've never thought of myself as cute but i'm happy making this video maybe that is why it's radiating and you know making her believe that i'm a cute girl yeah i think i'm a cute girl too so without further ado let me not waste much of your time you know this list it's quite interesting so you should watch to the end okay so my very best tent of all time bl drum roll please is where your eyes linger like this is one bl that i love so much you know how korean bl can be very annoying and give you like you know very short short episodes of a bl this is one that if they give me a chance i will tell them to make up to you know season five of this and it was one of the very new bls that you know when korea started bl the very first time so watching that and you know how korea they know how to you know pair two actors they know how to make everything very interesting this bl touched my heart like the story was so nice it is one that i would love you to watch so that's my number 10 where your eyes linger so my number nine or uh, my ninth best of all time bl is this one i had a hard time putting it in number nine and this is history you know this history is a taiwanese drama by the way so like they make it almost every year like you know history make your days count it just different types of history and all the history that have been produced they've been hit after hit the only one i don't really like was the one produced in 2023 i could just i could not just get the story so that's why I said, you know, history from one to four is my best or my ninth best of all my BLs of all time. You should definitely check history out. My best of history is history make our uh, days count. Like I loved that one so much. So that is my ninth best. So my eighth best BL is a tale of a thousand stars. <laughs> this one is so heartwarming. Somebody in the comment section the other day said like you know i talk about the tale of a thousand stars i'm talking about how one of the main actors carried the whole drama that is not really show that you know it was one person carrying the whole drama the both main lead were very good like the story is so heartwarming you know for me who is a sucker of you know uh, actors who are sick i really love that you know that plot of dramas so and you know me being interested in k-dramas i've seen this plot over and over again and i love it every single time that that it, it is used so a tale of a thousand stars is one of my my best deals of all time at least it is number eight if not because there were better ones it would have been my number one it is a very heartwarming story so now let's move on to number seven my seventh best of all time bl is i told 
Sunset about you. <gasps> oh, you know, so I told Sunset about you is the part one, then I promised you the moon is the part two. That drama was just, it was giving everything like cinematography, acting, story, like everything just went well. Like, you know, when you fall in love with two actors, that's what I told Sunset about. You know, funny enough, for me, I started with I Promised You the Moon. I did not really, when I told Sunset about you came out, I did not really vibe with it in the first episode. But after watching I Promised You the Moon, I went back to watch I Told Sunset about you. Like, that is how serious that drama was very good. But I told Sunset about you is the part one, and I Promised You the Moon is the part two. You should definitely check it out. It is a good drama all around. Now, my sixth one. This one is a Korean one. And it is, ah, I love this one so much. It is The Eight Sense. Like, this was a very good drama. Nothing anybody can tell me. Like, the acting, the main lead, like the storytelling, everything just went well. The only problem that drama had was that it ended. I was so sad when it was coming to the end. And you know, Korea, they know how to do like eight episodes of everything. Luckily, this one was even one that, you know, one episode was up to an hour. So, it was quite a good drama. At least you are able to immerse yourself and enjoy the drama in full. But the fact that it ended in eight episode was not something interesting for me because you know how Korea brings on the acting game now. Like the eight sense was good. Like the story was good. The script was good. Everything just went well. So I had to put it in number six. So my fifth one now is many people will be surprised I'm putting this in number five because you know. You would think that it should be like, you know, maybe top three, but no, that is King Posh. Yeah! <laughs> you know, like so many people loved King Posh and for a drama that we had to wait so long for, like it was giving everything, acting, romance, story, like just everything. And for a Thai drama, it was quite interesting. You know, because some Thai dramas can be very annoying in their acting and in the production and in everything. But, you know, Kim Posh, when we were told that, you know, we had to wait for a certain period for it to come out, like, people were so agitated, like, bring this drama out already. And when it came out, they did not disappoint one in it. Like, Kim Posh is a very good drama, but just don't start, you know, your drama with, or your BL story with Kim Posh, because that's like an extreme of a choice to start watching BL. You start from small ones, you know, good story, good vibes, you know, things like my school president, bad body, blah blah blah. Kim Posh is an extreme choice, and especially if you are not 18, don't say I do not want you. <laughs> yes, that is what it is. So, Kim Posh is my fifth best BL of all time, and it is a Thai BL. So, for my number four, you see, we are coming close to number one because I'm so excited. <laughs> like, number four. This is the first Japanese deal, funny enough. You know, for Japan, who is very good at acting, making stories so relatable, like the, the full production of any Japanese deal, once it comes out, you know they've done everything well. Like, the stories are always so nice, so heartwarming. Japanese deal just feels like, you know, you're watching your neighbors. It's just that they're a gay couple. They're, they're a gay couple. So, like, they always do very well. And this drama is, you know, my personal weatherman. I love that drama so much. Like, you know, the story was very good. The acting was so realistic. Japanese drama, the only or Japanese BL series. I'm not I've not really watched, you know, other Japanese dramas, so I can't really say, but for their BL series, they are always doing good with it. Like, you know, it's usually just maybe eight to ten or twelve episodes, but it is always so heartwarming, relatable, good acting, good production, everything just always goes well. So my personal weatherman is my best Japanese drama. There's also some other good ones, but you know, for me who had to put so many things into consideration when making this list, I had to put my personal weatherman as number four. Now we are in the main place. <laughs> you know, my top three BLs of all time. Like this list is quite an interesting one. I was so excited, you know, making it. And for this top three, it is something I hold dear to my heart. Like, they did good all around in producing these dramas. And I was so happy watching them, you know, wishing it would never end. You know, daydreaming, you know, that kind of stuff. Like, there are some BLs that can just be on some BLs. Just take it from me. 
Like it's not just about you know uh, saying you want to turn out BLs, but if the acting and everything is good. So interestingly, this one to three comprises of a Korean drama, a Thai drama, and a Taiwanese drama. Guess in the comment section before I call them out, which one do you think is my number one? Before you get there, just let me know. I would love to hear from you in the comment section. So for my number three, this is a Korean one, and that is Semantic Error. Oh. <laughs> Semantic Carol was a very good BL series and for Korea, I did not expect anything less but you know, they brought it they brought it in such a way that you know ah, even when the couples were you know, idols like active idols you know, like Korea K-pop idols and whatnot but like everything just went well you know, like you know, those dramas where idols acting some of them are not very good actors so it usually shows but this one, the two actors were very good. The storyline, and I heard it's a manga. It was once like, you know, uh, a manga before it was now made into like a drama. And I'm, st I'm still here to read the manga, funny enough, but like the drama, I've watched Semantic Girl more than three times. For someone who is not a fan of repeating dramas, like Semantic Girl is very good. You might even want to start with it because it does not have so much of the erotic scene, but the story, the acting, the everything just came well together. That it will keep you lush and the actors were very good. So now let's move on to number two before I will keep the dreaming. <laughs> you know, my number two best BL dramas of all time. Cutie Pie. You see why I'm always doing this? Cutie Pie. Semantic error. You know, like with this dreamy voice, it is because these dramas they warm my heart so much. Like you know, it's not for me. It's not about the erotic scenes. It's not about the PG thirty five. It is about good acting, good story, good actors. You know, making your story relatable. Just you know, keeping my heart, you know, warm when you're acting. You know, I feel like a director at this point. But you know, Cutie Pie was a very good drama. The main lead, I feel like the actors usually determine to a great extent what a drama, what a good drama would be like. Because if your production is good, if everything is good, you have a good script, but then the people who are supposed to portray it are not doing it well, it will not come out right. And QC Pie was delivered to perfection. Like, it was so good. They did very good. And I think I've watched QC Pie like twice now. But the only thing I don't like about QC Pie, their part two, they shouldn't have done that. It's a waste of time. QC Pie is not a drama that they could have. I don't know who made them, uh, you know, decide to make a part two. The part two did not give anything, even though they had to, like, you know, get married and whatnot. But part one, you should have just ended and kept me with my good memory. Yes, so let me not be too angry because Kitty Pie was, you know, it makes me feel cute. <laughs> yeah, so for my number one DL of all time, as you can see, I'm very excited about this one. And if you guessed right, I feel like you deserve a gift because this one people would not really believe is my best BL of all time. You know, for someone who is very engrossed in this world of BL, but this is my number one BL of all the BLs that have been produced, and it is number one for me. <laughs> it's like number one for you. Funny enough, I never knew the name of this drama was number one for you. I used to think it was you know we best love because that is what I. I saw it as when I was, you know, watching them, but basically the actual name is number one for you. And this is a Taiwanese drama. You would not believe that Taiwan will win all the countries that have been producing BL, like, you know, to be my best BL of all time. Like, till date, I've watched with Best Love part one and part two more than two times. Like, this is how good the drama is. The actors are very good, just so relatable, just so warm. Like the story, everything was very good. So, with best love or number one for you, whichever one you want to call it, I think number one for you is the part one, and with best love is the part two. I'm not really sure about it. This is my best BL of all time. I would love to hear from you guys. What is your best BL of all time in the comment section? Because I know some people might not agree with this my list, but what do I do? <laughs> for me, who it was very hard for me to choose. 
So, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. If you want a part two where I will tell you my number 10 to 20, just let me know because there were so many bills I had to exclude and I was so sad doing that. But you know, one will always be better than the other. I had a hard time choosing, but this is my overall 10 best, best of all BLs. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section, like I've said a thousand times now. <laughs> let me just leave you with this, you know, my list. Go and watch it if you've not watched NBL before, or if you've not watched anyone on this my list. A good list that comprises of all the best deals that have ever been done. Take it from me. <laughs> yes, guys. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay tuned to this channel. Click that like button. Subscribe. Join the family because you know we're happy over here. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.